what is orangutan what are the different types of orangutans what is its conservation status where are they located by the end of this video you will be able to answer all these questions hi friends i am ashwin pv welcome to ekamayas why orangutans were in the news because some police officials in chennai facilitated smuggling of orangutans so this was the news in this context we will study what are orangutans they are the largest arboreal mammals arboreal means tree loving or tree living mammals they mainly live on trees they rarely come to the grounds and the second feature is that 96% of human genes have similarity with orangutans so this is an important feature also they are highly intelligent species like humans hence they have the capability to make sophisticated tools for example they make sleeping nest you can see a sleeping nest in this figure this is an elaborate sleeping arrangement made by orangutans so the meaning of the term orangutan is man of the forest in malay language they are also called as gardeners of the forest because they help in seed dispersal in the forest now we are going to study about different types of orangutans there are only three species of orangutans one is sumatran orangutan second one is bornean orangutan and third one is tapanuli orangutan this third one is identified in 2017 so this is the latest species identified out of orangutan this figure indicates the three species now we are going to study about the features of orangutans they have long arms and grasping hands and feet with them they walk or climb also their legs are short secondly the color of orangutan is reddish brown reddish brown hair throughout their body and third distinctive feature of male orangutan is flanges you can see from this figure this cheek pad that is the thing on the face this padded cheek is called flanges flanges and this is a distinct feature of orangutan males but not all males of orangutan have flanges there are unflanged males also the important aspect of this flanges is that those with flanges have the higher chance of getting a mate that is the females are more attracted to flanged males and another feature is that orangutans have one of the lowest very low reproductive rate that is a female orangutan can have one child only every 3 to 5 years so that is a very low low reproductive rate and hence they are vulnerable to population decline and once their population declines it is very difficult for them to recoup from that and finally these orangutans are solitary creatures that is that, that is most of them live alone the major social bonding seen among orangutan is between the female orangutan and her offspring other orangutans are mainly solitary that is lonely creatures this is a this is also a distinctive feature compared to other apes because we see that the apes are generally social animals like humans but orangutan is solitary now when we look at the habitat they are endemic to two places one is sumatra and bornea Sumatra is an island of Indonesia you can see in this figure this island is Sumatra and this island on top of Sumatra is called Borneo Borneo is an island shared by three countries one is Malaysia then Brunei and Indonesia so this is orangutan is endemic to these two islands endemic means the orangutan is native to these two islands and it is not seen anywhere else no other place on earth you can see orangutans on their natural habitats they may be seen in zoos zoological parks but not in their natural habitat except 
these two places. Now we are going to study about the most important aspect from the UPSC prelims perspective that is conservation status of orangutan. So in the IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature Red List, it is both all three species are critically endangered. We have discussed there are three types. So all these three species are critically endangered. So under sites that is Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Fauna and Flora. So CITES is an international agreement aimed at ensuring that the international trade in the specimens or species does not threaten their survival. That is, if we are trading some species or specimens, that should not lead to their extinction. That is the main objective of CITES. So, under CITES, all three species of orangutan is listed as Appendix 1. So, under sites, all three species of orangutan is listed in appendix 1. Now, we are going to study what is India's connection with orangutan. Do we have orangutans in India? Do we have orangutans in the northeast? No, India has no native orangutans. This species is not native to India. But we had a orangutan in a zoological park in Odisha. That is, Nandan Khanan Zoological Park. Its name was Bini. So it died in 2019. So we had some in the zoological parks that is zoos, but this orangutan is not endemic to India. So this is all about orangutans. So in this short module, we studied what are orangutans, key features, its habitat, its conservation status, and it, its status in India. Oh, what is its connection to India? So finally, we will be dealing with a question. The question is, consider the following statements. Orangutans are native to South Asia and Southeast Asia. All species of orangutans are critically endangered under the IUCN Red List. So which of the above statements are correct? You can answer the question and give the answer in the comment section below. You can also see the link of the Telegram channel given in the description to access detailed material in the PDF format, also the answer to the above question. Thanks all of you for patiently watching and all the best for 2023 prelims.